Boom, sup everybody, Avocado here. I'm here to talk to you guys about a very important thing that we have going on currently at Ruin Your Day with the state of the world and how things are going on during quarantine. Who knows when Battle Rap will return to what it used to be. And currently we've been supplementing that by doing additional content on my roof and filming battles elsewhere. Unfortunately, due to the state of the world and my landlord, we can't currently continue to do that. So if you guys like the way that Battle Rap has been going with Ruin your day we need to move forward and that is ruin your day is going to get studio space so if you liked the way the bunker went it's going to be almost the exact same thing we're getting a warehouse space that's going to be strictly for filming battle rap for filming ruin your day content for filming podcasts watch everything you love about the channel will take place in this studio and we can only get to that point with the help of you guys with the help of you guys in patreon so we reformatted the way patreon works we restructured the tiers there's only three tiers now and it gives you more bang for your buck it's more quality content for what you're paying for and we made a goal of getting the Patreon to double what it is currently. And when we get there, we can get into a new studio space that will give you guys more battles, more watch episodes, more content, and more everything that you enjoy about Ruin Your Day. This won't happen unless we get into the studio space. Without getting this studio space, we won't be able to continue as we currently have been. So we really need your help, guys. Um, I thank everybody that's supported thus far, and I thank everybody that's going to support. It means the world to me, and uh, Ruin Your Day would not be where it is today without you guys. You guys are the riders, you're the backbone of this movement, of this channel, and I'm really excited to return to the great thing we had with the bunker, but with a new endeavor such as Ruin Your Day Studios. Thank you guys. Fluidly despite with a twist and got the motherfucker leaning like a knife to the rift. Facts, yeah. How to make a difference. Smooth nigga, homie, y'all done been faithful and be playing with it. Ain't gonna lie, homie, hit the baddest souls and some basic bitches. I done took some risks and I done played it safe. Really safe, my niggas. I done lost bread and made major figures. I done been a crook and I done been a victim. When legit and I don't work the system Been full of life and I've been tired of living Jesus take the will, you know, blood willing What you want in life because it's your decision Putting work go aboard mission When you got position, it's an opposition Cause the opposition wants your position I was on my grind and I slipped up Lost it off about six months Stayed down and shit picked up Gotta do it all, you only live once Boom, what's up everybody? Welcome to Round for Round, the show where we take a battle rapper's best three rounds and put them against another battle rapper's best three rounds. Today's battle is Disaster versus Shuffle T. This is second versus Iron Solomon is going against Shuffle T's first versus Dundee. Diz first versus DNA is going to get Shuffle's second versus Heretic, and Diz's second, or excuse me, first versus Danny Myers is going to get Shuffle T's third versus Raptor. All right, Diz's second versus Iron. Let's go. I haven't watched this battle in forever, so I'm excited. Hey, yeah. Round two, let's go. Oh shit, here we go again. All right, so you brought up the math fight, of course. And I think it's awesome for you to reference. And I think it's really awesome for you to mention. No, honestly, bro, thank you for putting your two cents in. Are you sure it's not too expensive? I know, for you being a Jew, that's kind of a huge investment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. You fucking chubby, chucky, southern country, Humpty Dumpty looking fucking ugly, musty, dusky, rose teletubby, Barney Rubble, body double, Bubba Dudley cuddle buddy. Holy oh, shit. Oh my god. Fucking loser. This guy is like Allen Iverson. He could have been the GOAT, but he fucked up most of his chances. And that's the difference between the Kobe's and the Jordans and Magic's. The ones that Ooh. stayed in the game and gave you more and more classics and the ones that eventually fell off because they always thought they were too good to show up the court for their practice. I know we appear, I know, Fire. I know we appear like we're closely matched. Holy shit. I know, I know, I know we appear like we're... I know we appear like we're closely matched, but our roads don't overlap. When I kept on moving forward and past them, you hit the fork of the road and went backwards. <laughs> we both started off as the total package, and then you dipped into the lower bracket, came back below the average of the normal standards. All it took was a little four-year absence, and you became a former has-been like Tony Braxton. Oh, my all this God. Up. 
Diz is going off, man. He was god mode in this Don't battle. Overlap. When I kept on moving forward and past him, you hit the fork of the road and went backwards. We both started off as the total package. And then you dipped into the lower bracket, came back below the average of the normal standards. All it took was a little four-year absence and you became a former hasman like Tony Braxton. You put in all this work to record these albums that most fans in battle rap don't download no tracks from the other half. Don't even notice you enough to even know you have one. This must be what it feels like to be Latoya Jackson. Plus, I got another question I've been wanting to ask him. Oh my God. Plus, I got another question I've been wanting to ask him. Do you rap while you're doing home gymnastics? Do you do you put your notepad down on your yoga mattress and you perform the dances like your multisyllabics? How you cover the graphics so overdramatic like an HBO crime scene show reenactment, bro? You're a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you're a faggot. That was Doctors awesome. then fucked you up with a lot of medication, bro. And you got no more skill, can't get back to his normal self because he don't even know how normal feel. Quick, someone toss Jonah Hill another Soma pill so he can focus still, so he can focus still because he's looking real shaky on film like Cloverfield. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so fire how Diz shook the camera too. I love that so much. Toss Jonah Hill another Soma pill so he can focus still, so he can focus still because he's looking real shaky on film like Cloverfield. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That was fire. Fire! But anyways, how's that studio going though? You recording still? Bro, you're ill. <laughs> still working towards that recording deal? <laughs> You'll make it. I know you will. <laughs> Let's go, Diz. Cause what you go, cause what you gonna do? Survive off your fight club days? No one even remembers those older rounds. Only thing we remember from fight club is. Yo, hold it down! Hold, hold it, it down! down. That's how annoying feed. your fucking host would sound. <laughs> or who else remembers his battles from the Hall of Fame? We, when, he, when he went off the top versus a dude with his top off. Who remembers Iron Solomon versus Flames? He got the, he, yeah, he got the W, right? But him and that battle in the Holocaust were the same because it wasn't no surprise to see the Jewish guy body in flames. <laughs> Low belt. Whoa. Whoa! Burn, you get burn in the game. Burn, I'll burn you with flames. <laughs> Shit, even Bernie Sanders has the word burn in his name. I'll fuck you up. Jesus, he is, <laughs> no pun intended, gassing this battle. This is wild. Now you're in the dead zone where no one enters. Pop, pop goes the heckler. Go against me in your physical form dismembered. You won't be able to use your legs or arms again like Denzel Washington when he started in a bone collector. Your father, <laughs> your father, built you an in-house studio to record your records and get your stuff done. But it's fucked up because you can't have black people come over because, son, we don't trust them. <laughs> Gets all awkward every time he has black folks recording over and he comes into the room and confronts them like, <laughs> so, young guns, where do you know my son from? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. All that matters when they view this back, all that matters is that when they view this back is who can rap. So where all my goons from Faluga at? In the street letting bazookas and boogers clap. Uzi's matched with the new attachments. I got Halo from the future gas. You just straps into ones Duke Nukem has. Boom, boom, shoot your ass. Hadouken flash. Boom, boom, shellacka, boom your ass. I don't give a fuck. North, boom, boom, North Korea nuclear blast. I'll reduce you to ash with a nuke and nuke and ash. What's that? Dude, that's Nash, you stupid ass. <laughs> Yo, this round is fucking amazing. <laughs> Nuke and Ash, dude, that's Nash. Let's go, Diz. Halo from the future, gas huge, just straps in the ones Duke Nukem has. Boom, boom, shoot your ass, Hadouk and flash. Boom, boom, shellacka, boom your ass. I don't give a fuck. North, boom, boom, North Korea nuclear blast. I'll reduce you to ash with a nuke and nuke and ash. What's that? Dude, that's Nash, you stupid ass. Yo, yo. My fucking, my resume, my resume, my resume is like a fucking cemetery full of piles of human stack because I done caught more overseas bodies than the Cuban raft. If white boy, if white boy got a nine, then he could get school with that, get it? Because we're from two different schools. He a junior high school student. I'm a fully developed uni grad. I'm too advanced for you to grasp. You Columbine popping nines. I'm a Virginia Tech going off on student campus, which means me and you are not in the same shooting class. Oh my God. You know what I'm up? Oh my plus God. My, plus my newest strap got a built-in Mac computer that keeps all of your vehicles moving. It's trapped like an Uber app. <laughs> Go open up your location on Google Maps. See you in the window, then I zoom in fast. Shoot your ass through the glass. Spill your medulla on the Azuzu dash. I'm fucking up. I may spill your medulla on the Azuzu dash, then the people that are moving past will start screaming. And help! Someone just killed a fat kid from Superbad. Yeah, <laughs> yo, and I don't give a fuck who. Yo, you even how Diz messed up 
but still brought that back and said, I'm fucking up and kept going. And that's just what Diz is so good at. He, like, adapts to his environment so, like, fluidly. Like, it's really truthfully amazing how it's, like, it's not even, like, it doesn't even matter that he stumbled there because he just picked it back up and kept going. Plus how Diz is rapping in this round is literally, like, no, not many people can do this. Like, he's, his, like, clarity, how quickly he's riddling off the syllables and just, like, dominating this round is just fire. Class, you know what I'm saying, dog? Plus my, plus my newest strap got a built-in Mac computer that keeps all of your vehicles moving strapped like an Uber app. Could open up your location on Google Maps, see you in the window, then I'll zoom in fast, shoot your ass through the glass, spill your medulla on the Azuzu dash. I'm fucking up, I meant spill your medulla on the Azuzu dash, then the people that are moving past will start screaming, help, someone just killed a fat kid from Superbad. Yeah, <laughs> yo, and I don't give a fuck who you have. Bring your goons for backup, then it's angry fan movements, I'm only using taps. I'll put you and all your fruity ass dogs together in the same bag like a pack of Scooby Snacks. And if, oh my God. And if you come back from the dead, I'm gonna put a giant round in the back of your head like one of your stupid looking Jewish hats. Yeah. <laughs> I'll body everything in the room. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. This round is incredible. Hold on. I'll body everything in the room moving like I'm super nat. Leave me alone before I blow a fuse and snap like a fuselage with a fuse attached. I'll fucking, you get your fucking right socket removed and snatch. Get your eyeball turned into a wounded gash. The next interview that you do with Vlad, you'll be on the couch telling stories with one of your pupils packed. Slick Rick the Ruler's back. Yo, when I say turn up, I mean. Pupils packed, Slick Rick the Ruler's back. Let's go. Man, also, this is just the king at just like matching syllables and multis that just like make sense and sound good together and that's an art form in itself before i blow a fuse and snap like a fuselage with a fuse attached i'll fucking you get your fucking right socket removed and snatched get your eyeball turned into a wounded gash the next interview that you do with vlad you'll be on the couch telling stories with one of your pupils pack slick rick the ruler's back yo yo still on the same scheme too as the super bad shit it's fucking amazing when i say turn up i mean turn up to the max i mean turn him to a vegetable you seen the movie expendables well, I'll put you in a cast that's just as huge as that. Pussy! What? What? <laughs> round two, it's on out your side. Fire round. Absolutely incredible round. All right, this is second versus Iron Solomon. It's going against Shuffle T's first versus Dundee. Dundee Dada. Dundee the Bula. Shuffle T, do you have insurance? Let's fucking go! Woo! 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 Shuffle's gonna go first. Yeah, I'm in from the UK! Yeah! Thank fuck. Nah, you'd react to me. Could have gone enthusiastically and just fucking booed me massively. I'm in from the UK. Let me tell you something. That was a long, protracted flight. <laughs> I read War and Peace in Latin, backwards, twice. <laughs> you don't know the shit I went through to battle you. Halfway into the flight, we ran out of packaged food. <laughs> but I maintain we did what we had to do when we ate that member of the cabin crew. <laughs> Fire. I maintain what we had to do we did what we had to do when we ate that member of the cabin crew. Shuffle also is a master of, uh, at uh, matching multis. In fact, he wrote the book on it. Go get Shuffle T's book on multisyllabic rhymes. You don't know the shit I went through to battle you. Halfway into the flight, we ran out of packaged food. <laughs> but I maintain we did what we had to do when we ate that member of the cabin crew. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway into eating his legs, a woman from the back came through like, I found some extra sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So good. I fucking bored of the flight. I found a guitar and a man and fucking started a band. <laughs> it's all going well. This was part of the plan. We released three albums. They were eating out of the palm of our hands. And this is it due to creative differences when we started to land. <laughs> Bored of the flight as soon as I fucking boarded the flight. <laughs> Even turned around to fucking talk to a guy. I said, how you doing? He said, well, I turned 40 tonight. I said, congrats. He said, I was fucking born on this flight. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Shuffle tea is incredible. I got so bored. Watch one of your battles. 
have a fucking Disney sing song. That was the point I shot the pilot like filming a new sitcom. Fucking rip that fucking plane out of the sky like I'm King Kong. I don't know if I said it yet right, but the flight was a bit long. <laughs> the miracle I got through customs. <laughs> fucking miracle it happened. They said, what brings you to Australia? I said, killing it with rapping. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it with rapping. Let's go. Let's go. I said, how long do you plan your stay? I said, till I'm finished snapping. <laughs> Under occupation, I wrote. <laughs> till I'm finished snapping. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. I said, how long do you plan your stay? I said, till I'm finished snapping. <laughs> Under occupation, I wrote. I was a lyrical assassin. <laughs> Thought they might find it funny if they're a fan of my work. They thought they'd carry out a cavity search. <laughs> I'm like, crap now it hurts. <laughs> but I'm finally here, wasting a full 90 seconds with D now. It probably feels to you kind of like I'm wrenching your teeth out. Talking about how long it took to fly, collect, and bring me down because I couldn't think of enough shit for you to try and stretch it to three rounds. <laughs> I might talk about you being kind of old, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no? You're so old, though. <laughs> you put the old in old. <laughs> <laughs> what, I call the old, what I call the olden days, you call the golden age. <laughs> what I call the olden days, you call the golden age. That is flames. Honestly, man, you're actually double my age. I mean, obviously you're not, but after 40, who cares? It's exactly fucking the same. <laughs> I won't say you're old enough to be my dad. That's changing the facts. But you are old enough to be a mate of my dad's. <laughs> you could go round to a dinner date at their pad and I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. Nothing strange about that. <laughs> You met a gypsy woman who was going to read his fate on his fan. She was like, this line can help us tell the age of a man. She read it and then she was kind of taken aback. It just says, you're fucking old cunt on the base of his hand. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there because your beady glare and evil stares making me really scared. <laughs> what an ender. I'm going to leave it there because your beady glare is making me really scared. <laughs> Let's go, Shuffle. Go to patreon.com forward slash ruin your day now to cast your vote for who you thought won that round. This is second versus Iron Solomon versus Shuffle T's first versus Dundee. All right, let's get it. This is first versus DNA. One of Y'all ready? the ready? greatest rounds ever. Let's go. You American faggot! <laughs> now, after all the talk about how you would show up and never back out, Drake offered to put three grands on this battle to judge it, and you fucking backed out. Yeah, you little fucking pussy. I'm in front of DNA. Wow, no, no fucking, fucking way. way. This gotta be my lucky day. I'm about to tie him to a leash in case he tries to fucking, fucking run, run away. away. Yes. Fucking run away. I love that. And I've talked about this too, but I'm going to talk about this every single time I watch this battle. I think it's just so amazing how Diz is just so... He, uh, I said he adapts to his environment, but he like he, he caters it to his rounds, and almost nothing can stop him from getting his round off, and he's just laser focused. For example, the lights go out, like the the I, I didn't film this battle, so the, like the crew lights, whatever the hell they were using, went out, and Diz does not stop rapping. He just keeps going. A lot of people, if the light shut off, they'd be like, uh, like, okay, turn them on so I can rap again. But he just went straight through it. Also, in his battle versus Arsenal. Uh, at MOB, the owner of the venue shut the lights off, and there's nothing like the venue is just pitch black except for the light on my camera, which I luckily had. Um, and Diz wrapped his whole round with that, like didn't even care. Didn't it was unfaltered that the light shut off. Just, just like I'm gonna keep rapping. It's truthfully incredible. Uh, I'm in front of DNA. Wow, no fucking way. This gotta be my lucky day. I'm about to tie him to a leash in case he tries to fucking run away. Yeah, the problem with you kids is that you lack respect. Go fuck me over on money right now and try to run out and I'm gonna snap your neck. These people know that that's
backing out of battles is not part of my plans, but you and Cortez always now. So not to my surprise, all your alibis came as a bunch of unauthorized scams. Shit, even if I met you in the middle of the East, you find a way to say that I ran. But I'm from Los Angeles. I'm proud to say that that's my land. In LA, we support our home teams. We got a lot of pride, but goddamn, the way you duck me in LA proves you'll always be more of a fan of the Dodgers than I am. <laughs> You soft as hell, I'm not gonna lie, fam. In your battle with Rex, you almost caught the right hand from Dot Mom's hopping hype man. <laughs> when Rex made fun of your retarded mother, I knew you wanted to fight, man. But then they called the cameras off and you walked off and called it the night. Damn. Oh, sort of like when Eminem told you, lose yourself in the moment. You only get one shot in the lifespan. And you answered him like, I know, Slim, that's exactly why I'm gonna walk away from this mic stand. Wow. Act on some G shit. We were supposed to battle here, he backed out. Like, I need more cash now. And that is some weak shit. He's a sneaky Latino, so I wasn't surprised when I came to find out that he skipped. He was already flaking like a tortilla, so as soon as I saw the guacamole on the side with the green chips, I knew it was only right that that bean dipped. <laughs> Yo, his performance in this round is like on 1,000. Like, he has, his breath control is so impressive. Like, that's always what impresses me the most about Diz is that he, he can, like, get these huge chunks of verses off without saying, without, excuse me, taking that much of a breath. He's just, a, and I'm just like, like, how does your lungs hold that much air? And, and then like, when he ends a line with like some sort of movement, it just enunciates, his, enunciates the punchline so much harder, like with a bean dipped. Green chips, I knew it was only right that that bean dipped. <laughs> What battle and league you actually be with if you're gonna be dumb enough to bite the hand that you eat with, at least be smart enough to cover up your tracks and don't leave prints. Whoa. Someone call up Smack and tell him to cancel the field trip. Strap to the beans and <laughs> I love that. Someone call up Smack and tell him to cancel the field trip. <laughs> Someone call up Smack and tell him to cancel the field trip. Strap to the beans equipped like an active marine ready to damage a queen ship. Shells battering, the cannon ring until half of your team is seasick. The other half starts abandoning ship, panic and leap quick in the same fashion the hollow took his first chance to get green quick took, turned his back on gt packed up his bag stick the cash and then he split and the fact it hasn't been seen since See, it's all a story it's wow. all a story that correlates if you go back and you read script i use this all as scenario to reference the battle and scene with because grind time is a ship and this is as bad as the titanic sea gets because without smack you wouldn't be shit but lost talent stranded across the atlantic sea without a raft to keep heat with <laughs> I got the long nose like x Factor. it'll make the back of your Jeep flip. I said, you think like we playing Xbox together the way I left half of your screen split. My guns are barely legal with magazines that'll make this team strip. <laughs> That's how Fire. you like it, right? Come back with a clean flip. Yeah, I'm ready for the drama. Ain't no question marks. I rip your flesh apart like Jeffrey Dahmer. Let's get it poppin'. I take the beef instead of chop it like a chef from Benihana. Speaking of chefs, shouts out to Cortez's mama, cause I heard every prime time East Coast event, she be fixing poison pen and empanadas. <laughs> Cause you too busy slumped over in the bed with Hoppa uh -huh. Holding hands with Hollow when we all know you were raised by Dutch Vega and Sarah Connor <laughs> Look, the beat oh. between us has been a never ending saga I'll leave you walking around with Bender's depressed persona When I sketch menace your necklace off oh. <laughs> You're crazy, you're walking on Freddy, you're dead waters I'll throw your body on the stretcher then let the chopper off the boop 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 block and drop your paramedic <laughs> You motherfuckers ain't shit to me. Are y'all kidding me? I'll fucking bum rush in the enemy. These knuckles leave you buckling instantly. I'll fucking get timid and start punching you viciously. Uppercuts will leave your stomach in misery like muscular dystrophy. Oh. Just for thinking you could come online publicly dissing me. You can pop your fist while I'm still crushing you physically. This shit is child's play. You get eight it's sideways like, like a number, number infinity. infinity. <laughs> you come on the blog and then mention me. I'll stop you out and make you a part of this history. Don't, Don't show, show me, me that because this is about to be the body bag of the century. Oh, hold on, hold, hold on. on. Okay, I'm going to talk about that, and I always do, but I don't care. Um, so, uh, Diz had a lot, of more, a, lot of, a lot more stuff in this whole scheme. Um, and basically what Diz is so incredible with doing and that few people can do is he can actually compartmentalize his brain to focus in on different pieces of, of his verse and he can just go to any one of them at any given time. A lot of people 
need to run through stuff from the start to end. And acting, that's the same way too. You need cues of what you go off of. But Diz, the way his mind works and few other people's minds work like this, is he can just go to any part that he wants to at any given time. So when Organic is showing him the, the clock being like, you're running out of time, wrap this up. Diz goes, hold on, and then goes, like, edits out a bunch of other parts in this scheme and just goes to the end point um, with the, the end haymaker. And that is, like, insanely talent right there. That's so, so talent. And to not miss a beat and just go to the part, he's like, okay, I, this is the important part right here. This is, like, the, the haymaker. Just leave out the other stuff, you know? For infinity! How's that? before you come on the blog and then mention me. I'll stop you out and make you a part of this history. Oh. Don't show me that, because this is about to be the body bag of the century. Oh. Hold on. And even oh. saying that, that the freestyle, don't show me that, because this, this is about to be the body bag of a century. Even freestyling, throwing a freestyle in there, then psh, moving forward in time with uh, the scheme is just, pff, man, it's crazy. Hold on, you motherfuckers ain't shit to me. They say karma's a bitch. For you, it's probably dentistry because the part of your mouth that's missing is only a reflection of what's scarring you mentally. So the, gap, so the gap between your teeth exists merely as an object of imagery to distract you from the real gap between us, and that's bars and delivery. <laughs> Holy crap, I love that so much. I love everything about that, how it was delivered, how the crowd is just hanging on every word, waiting for him to like say the last line of the punch, just the big haymaker, and how Diz is like, object of imagery to distract you from the real gap between you, and that's bars and delivery, and how he's literally just like breathing every inch of air out of his lungs, and when he says bars and delivery, it still is impactful. And even saying it like over DNA's shoulders, just so, everything about that to me is like so fucking dope. And that's why I've used that part in so many goddamn trailers, because that to me is like the perfect example of great, great battle rapping right there. It's only a reflection of what's scarring you mentally. So the, gap, so the gap between your teeth exists merely as an object of imagery to distract you from the real gap between us, and that's bars and delivery. <laughs> True, Eric, and that's another thing is it's, it's like a true battle rap line, too. That's what I fuck with, too. It's, it's like about battle rap. It's fucking awesome. That round is one of my favorite rounds of all time. This is first versus DNA. That's going against another one of my favorite rounds for all of all time for a completely different reason. Shuffle T second versus Heretic. Let's get it, bro. Said I'm not as good without Marlo. Hey. What can you do? To be honest with you, it's probably true. true. <laughs> it's not fuck around, we all know it. <laughs> so I ran into someone recently in a Starbucks who I suspect was a fan of his. Because he went, oh, don't flop. Do you know when the next heretic battle is? I went, who, sorry? He went, you know, heretic. Uh, the feminine activist. <laughs> <laughs> Always pushing uh, gay and lesbian marriages. Fire, fire. Um, I actually haven't watched Diz vs. Iron on watch ever. I was waiting for a special guest to do it. Um, and I actually don't uh, freelance and do music videos. I don't shoot music videos for anything that's not going on in your day anymore. I don't have the availability to do that. Uh, do you, there will ever be a second substitute for the bunker somewhere in Cali King of the Dot could use? Um, not sure about King of the Dot, um, but Ruin Your Day is looking towards getting studio space, and that potentially could be used for battles. So essentially, it's Ruin Your Day's bunker. But I'm thinking about starting a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter for that. Um, I have actually been talking with a broker about finding a space, um, and I've been looking at spaces. And yeah, so that should be undergone, uh, like, Pretty soon, it should happen pretty soon. I'm trying to make it happen within the next month or two, honestly. Um, because just with this whole COVID situation and just, <clears throat> I don't see <sighs> battles happening at 
venues for again for like a while and we need a studio space that's consistent that I can shoot battles in every month without a crowd um, my apartment isn't working out anymore um, I can't shoot battles here unfortunately anymore so I need another space and uh, yeah so ruin your date is gonna get studio space so the bunker 2.0 is coming we're gonna start a GoFundMe pretty soon and a Kickstarter if not if something else doesn't, if something else falls through, um, I might potentially have another situation that I can work out financially. But if that falls through, then the bunker will be back. Um, and I don't know where the King of the Dot event's going to be held, the barbershop one. I mean, who, sorry? Who, you know, Heretic? Uh, there might be more B Dot in the roof. I think we'll just go rent a roof and just go film specifically B dot on the roof like that's his aesthetic and I like it so we might just specifically just go rent a roof to film on since I can't film on mine anymore uh, the feminine activist <laughs> <laughs> always pushing uh, gay and lesbian marriages has a moral problem with almost everything that exists I went oh you mean live winter <laughs> he went no it's a bloke I went oh you mean live winter <laughs> Uh, vegan. Always see him at events with a carrot stick or one of those vegetable bag of crisps. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of having buttered bread on his sandwiches, just lettuce and radishes. <laughs> obsessed with marijuana. I said, oh yeah, that narrows it down, mate. Nice one. He went, no, 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 but he's obsessed with it for hemp but not cannabis. He has dreads on his head to pretend he's an anarchist. <laughs> Definite pacifist. Checking the back of his medicine cabinets because he disagrees with most modern medical practices because mm. of ethical barriers when they test it on rabbits and he doesn't agree with that depth of analysis. <laughs> I went, what? You went, don't worry. Um, <laughs> God, I love this. I love this round. The concept for this round is so incredible. A conversation in a coffee shop. And that's all of Shuffle's rounds in this round for round. The, the, concepts, were, uh, the concepts behind them are so fire. Uh, his, his round against Dundee, how long the flight was there. His, his round versus Heretic. A conversation in a coffee shop, his round versus Raptor, a phone call. Um, and then I love after he gets done riddling those multis off, and he's like, What? And he's like, Nah, forget about it. Rabbits, and he doesn't agree with that depth of analysis. So far. <laughs> like, Shuffle's good at poking fun at battle rap while not uh, really poking fun at it, if that makes sense. I went, What? You went, Don't worry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Only person from Birmingham who says garages instead of just garages. Garages. <laughs> garages. <laughs> garages. Escape for the garages, mate. I said, mate, I, 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 said I don't know who you're on, mate. He goes, oh, come on, no, he stole your style. Uh, but I guess with an added twist, because he's posh but goes street whenever he fancies it. He even stole the face you use for bars you get a reaction with. I said, mate, are you aware that all of this is rhyming? <laughs> <laughs> That is amazing. That is incredible. Let's go. And I love this too. It's all freestyle. He said, yes, well, I have a gift. <laughs> yes, well, I have a gift. Yes, well, I have a gift. He said, yes, well, I have a gift. I said, well, no, I mean, I mean, you definitely practiced this. He went, no, it's all freestyle. I went, whatever, mate. Anyway, that can sit. <laughs> I almost like that more that he says it's all freestyle. That's amazing. Fuck yes. I mean, you definitely practiced this. He went, no, it's all freestyle. I went, whatever, mate. Anyway, that can sit. Look, that's an impressively massive list, but I still don't know who this heretic rapper is. He goes, come on, you know him. Uh, uh, Danny Jacks, mate. I went, oh, heretic. Yeah, sorry, heretic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the guy who in um, Sheffield I'm clashing with. Yeah. I suppose I better get practicing and getting some angles in. I didn't know any of that was him. I might even end up using this conversation verbatim when I... <laughs> Yo, seriously, this round is just like a maze. It just takes you in all these twists and turns. I love it. You went, oh, that's classic Marlon, mate. I went, I'm not Marlon, I'm Shuffle T. Shuffle T. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward silence. I said, sorry, mate, that's very embarrassing. I said, don't worry, mate, it's actually regularly happening. <laughs> Sit there for a second, just panicking, tense as a mannequin. <laughs> he went. So, um. 
<laughs> what, does, what does heretic actually mean? Is it to do with the heritage that you're with? I said, no, I, don't, I think it's to do with like going against all the passages, you know, biblical stuff and being a rebellious maverick. And also these days, you know, I, I guess it's a satirist. <laughs> went, oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, what, you just here for a, a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, just came in with my friends to just grab a sip. It's pretty expensive to have a drink, £1.70 and a tip. I said, oh, do you tip? <laughs> you tip? He said, yeah, 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 always tip, always tip. <laughs> oh, my God, I love that round so much. It doesn't even end with a haymaker, it just ends with, a, you tip. Yeah, always tip, I always tip. Let's go. Go to patreon.com forward slash ruin your day now to cast your vote for who you thought won that round. This is first versus DNA or shuffle T's second versus heretic. All right, let's get it. This is first versus Danny Myers. Let's go. Round one, it's on disaster. It's on disaster. Let's go. I promise y'all that was nothing. Before I start this. Yeah, he changed it to his first. Trying new things out. Love you, man. Yes! Talk to your shit, fool. Get this nigga, dear. You know what rhymes with Danny Myers? Now, why y'all thinking that I left that question floating in the open air? Y'all need to be more aware. Cause Danny from a parallel universe. The only reason you heard silence over here is cause I answered it over there. Bar frog! Bar frog! Bar frog, let's go. <laughs> Fucking corn dog. <laughs> Fucking corn dog. <laughs> Bar frog! I answered it over there. And that's why. And that's why. At first, you don't like him, cause he wants you to believe he's, he's special. He's not saying bar fraud. He's saying bar frog. <laughs> that's why it's hilarious. Bar frog. <laughs> Fucking corn dog. <laughs> bar frog. <laughs> I answered it over there. <laughs> and that's why. It's cause people say uh, that Danny resembles a reptile. That's why he says bar frog dog. <laughs> This is hilarious. Get over there! An amphibian, I should say. A and that's why... And that's why... At first, you don't like him. Because he wants you to believe he's special. Unlike us, his birth was a parallel universal alignment. A story of a kid who became an MC, chasing this deep-rooted urge that's inside him to one day get up and open a trash can. And in that trash can... He found the notepad that he currently writes in. You think, you think you're one of our best writers? Who the fuck told you that that's true? You told another guy you'd fly over his house in a jet and leave a chemtrail. What the fuck would that do? <laughs> you said this with a straight face. Talk to him. I'm a heterosexual whale with the murders I orchestrate. What the fuck? Damn. What? Damn. That shit trash. Oh man, I can sense the tension in the air. If you sensitive, go elsewhere, cause this shit is intense. Somebody about to get killed in here. In a sense, you already in intensive care, but if I see you with my sixth sense, then what's the consensus there? I'll bust you, I'll bust you, I'll bust your face open with a kitchen chair. I'll pull a big knife out, I'll pull a big knife out. I'll stuff your guts inside out like a builder bear. Let's go. Let's go. The energy for this battle was so dope, so insane. I love it. I fucking love it. I love how Danny's super into, into it too. Like, yeah, give me that energy. Let's go! Let's go! I'll bust your face open with a kitchen chair. I'll also, man, I'm just gonna say this. If you're standing in camera view of a battle, 
Do not fucking film on your phone. Just watch the fucking battle and wait till the official battle drops on YouTube and you can watch it back much better than your stupid ass Instagram live that you're fucking putting in the footage. Nobody wants to see your dumb ass iPhone case that sucks. We want to see your ugly face, bro. Oh, Open with a kitchen chair, I'll pull a big knife out. I'll stuff your guts inside out like a builder bear. <laughs> Get a slick side mouth. Greco's pizza, I came to hand a big slice out. Your limbs will tear, your limbs will tear bloody silverware. Before we iron this out, they're gonna have to send his body to Iron Man's house for his bitch to have that shit repaired. I ain't T-Rex. I, 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 I ain't T-Rex, you better watch your mouth. Ooh. Talk to him. If someone dies and you mention one of mine, you putting your own family on the line. Now who wants to be a millionaire? Danny, you, Danny, you a fucking mark. That was wild. Danny, Danny, you a fucking mark. I dare you to start something. I wish you would, Pop. You ain't gonna see this pussy spark nothing like a push to start button. Yeah, you ain't. Yeah, yeah, stop fronting. You talk gang shit, but you know I got mad soldiers. I keep it crippin' in my circle. But don't let that, but don't let that go over your head, cause I can still have a blood at your front door like Passover. I ain't your fucking I ain't your fucking homie. I ain't your fucking homie. I don't have homies, don't lean on me on my bad shoulder, like cannabis. They say I got a bipolar mentality disorder cause every day I wake up and see a new face staring back at me in the mirror like the doctor from Hangover. Walk out, walk out, doing donuts in the Black Cobra, the battle rap Gamboa, Rocky Balboa, put hands on you, wrap my hands around your neck like a black boa, then squeeze so you're white in the face like Sam Sosa. Oh my God. Going in. So you're white in the face. So you're white in the face like Sam Sosa, the landlord of this rap culture. Slash your throat with a tacoba that's an African sword only your ancestors would know of. And be I don't even need a can. I don't even need a can. Only your ancestors would know of. And be dot. The landlord of this rap culture. Slash your throat with a tacoba that's. I just love this. Is this is hella fucking funny? I I I think this is so humorous. African sword only your ancestors would know of. And be dot. I don't even need a can. I don't even need a can. Fuck a can. I'm an axe thrower. <laughs> I slash you so fast you'll catch a gash wound so bad shit will look like I opened up your back with a can opener. <laughs> Hold on! Yo, it's so funny. People still talk to this day about that, <laughs> the little edit I did that like, <laughs> where I just like cut it to like this doing that so it kind of like jumbles your line of vision. <laughs> I also did that with his battle with Soulcon. Diz is really good at making like sound effect bars that sound like hella cool. Um, but it's funny, people still talk about that edit. My axe story. <laughs> I slash you so fast you catch a gash wound so bad shit will look like I opened up your back with a can opener. <laughs> Hold on! I came to fucking destroy you, irritate and annoy you. And you ain't gotta throw your hat after one of those stupid ass boars of yours. Cause if you get any closer, I'm gonna throw that shit for you. The laser spread. The laser spread. That's Agent Red. I'll put him on the floor. I'm gonna make him beg, but I ain't gonna spray no lead. Cause you know I ain't a gangster. I'm a serial killer. I'll rip the skin off his face instead and steal your face from you like the Grateful Dead. I'll... That was insane. I'll steal your face. Steal your face from you like the Grateful Dead. I twist his ankles. I break his legs. I put hands and feet on him like Mr. Potato Head. He can't fuck with me. I'm the king of this shit. That was insane. Let's run that back. From you like the Grateful Dead. I twist his ankles. I break his legs. I put hands and feet on him like Mr. Potato Head. He can't fuck with me. I'm the king of this shit. I put hands and feet on him like Mr. Potato Head. I don't play no games, and I don't say no names. I pull out a rainbow blade and scrape his egg. I made a pledge to take all you busters on by the razor's edge. I came to the bay with a bayonet to slay one of my favorite friends, which is why I hate the way this ends. He went out like a grade A soldier, because even though I sent him to the grave, he still made his bed. Ooh. Bitch, acting like you. Acting like you. Acting like you. Oh, 
Right. Don't Damn. Turn around. Acting like you replaced me, bitch. I had to leave for them to give you my spot. What you think you the first dude to go out of state spitting? Oh, yeah, that shit you did in Tennessee was lyrically hot. <laughs> in Memphis, you was doing the hippity hop. <laughs> Out in NYC, you butt kissing and you chill with the ops. Cont oh. Contracted measles, now you back here and want me to give you a shot. I'm putting, on, I'm putting on a clinic, so I'm either tossing you off of the ship or I'm leaving you on it long enough for you to watch me sink it. So either way, you're gonna visit the dock. <laughs> you get paid, you get paid. Either way, you're gonna you visit get paid. the dock. Let's go. Let's go, Diz. I was hoping y'all catch it. You get paid $500 deposits. That's minimal guap. <laughs> he gets paid for those bars of his and compliments. The battle rap carrot top. You basically making a living off your props. You are, you are washed up. You are washed up. You are washed up. You are washed up 40 year old. Still out here begging, begging for 50 cent like Vivica Fox. Oh. The code word is lift up the stock. What the hell that mean? I'll pick out a ball hair and use it to revive King of the Dot. <laughs> and if the bitch looking Fire. hot, and Fire. if the bitch looking hot, a Justin Timberlake dick in a box, your chick till a parallel universe come out the back end of her twat, and you ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do nothing like when the mask shit popped off. You and the whole staff went instantly soft. You lost your shoe, got trampled on, and you still didn't box. That's because your whole ass has no hands like a digital clock. Yeah. This is the part, hold on. Old hands has no hands like a digital clock. This is clock, the part, even that's because your Maltese whole ass crazy. has no hands like a digital clock. Yeah. This is the part, hold on. Damn. We're getting towards that. This is the part. This is the part. Where the finish him starts. Easy call. Listen, this is the part where the finish him starts. Long sickle blade with the elliptical arc. S shit look like a big ass question mark. I stick it in his chin like a fisherman hook. The edge is so sharp. One cut graze him, I'll fucking fillet him. Have blood spray him like Nickerson Garden. This shit is an art. This shit is an art. This shit is an art. This an audition for me to pick you apart. Pick up an ice pick and stick it in you and twist it like I'm picking a lock. Then all you hear is furnish him. And I'll kneel down and separate your ribs eight inches apart. Throw a scorpion hook in the hole and pull out angry fans dick from your heart. That performance, that performance is literally wild. Like, you know, we talk about battle rap being performance art a lot. And that is a good example of his straight up performance art. One O. One O. I love that. I love that when Diz says that. One O. Like he doesn't even say time or anything. He just looks at Danny and goes, One O. Woo! Flames. <clears throat> All right. This is first versus Danny Myers. It's going against the third round from Shuffle T versus Raptor, bro. Bro, from the peak event. This was the Mother's Day event. Mother's Day in Rubland. All right, Shuffle T, final round of the main event. Let's go, bro. Raptor. Raptor. <laughs> Be honest. Did you spike me? <laughs> in Leeds? <laughs> I, I think you did. If it wasn't you, it was one of your mates. <laughs> no, I'm not going to run that, by the way. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? If you wanted me to get off my face, you should have just asked me casual. I don't need drugs to make me do the robot like I'm part mechanical. Mm. Just get me sugar in me and my dancing's magical. I'm a piñata. That's it's a party, a party animal. animal. <laughs> <laughs> just get sugar in me, my dancing's magical. Yes. So I was recently talking with my mate uh, Sue Major, <laughs> and we were talking about how much we love the shoe. Maker. <laughs> I've been watching them ever since I was a teenager. I've even gone saved up for my screen saver. <laughs> I had this whole bit ready for when you all of a sudden correct it, but fine, whatever, fucking forget it. <laughs> now I'm gonna get serious with Ryan now. I'm going to say something, he won't want me crying out, and it's not something he's going to take lying down. You are at one sec, sorry, sorry. Oh, I got caught. Cool. Uh, quiet down. Hello? 
Mum, yeah. Uh, it's not really the best time to be calling, OK? Because um, it's currently getting a little bit awkward on stage. No, 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 no. remember, I did already say I, I can't make going for dinner, I'm performing today. <laughs> Raptor. Raptor. You don't know. It. So good. So good. aggressive ones you said you'd rather miss. Uh, Mancunian. No, not the one that battled Charlie Clips. I know we're getting to it. Right, okay. Uh, remember when we watched the title match? Yeah, half of it. Raptor is the one whose parts we skipped. That's <laughs> <laughs> so hilarious. Yeah, no, he's, he's the one who looked like he was near death. <laughs> yeah, good point. All right, the one without the beard then. <laughs> weird, weird head. Weird head. <laughs> weird head. Yeah, yeah. No, we mentioned the posh stuff. But, you know, it's all in good fun. <laughs> right, yeah. All right, you're, you're being quite talkative, Mum. Yeah. Okay. All right. Consider it already done. Um, so she said she wants me to call you a cunt. <laughs> Acting. I don't have time for this bollocks today. I don't care what Moira said at work in a horrible way. Who <laughs> <laughs> <she> said that? <laughs> you should tell her that that wasn't okay. <laughs> you already did. What did she say? <laughs> no, no, sorry, actually no. I'm getting distracted so I have to go. Alright, yeah, love you too. Alright, yeah, uh, see you back at home. Yeah, thanks for phoning. Hang up though. Alright, alright, love you. Oh, <laughs> Raptor, so... <laughs> Such a wild concept. Great, great concept from Shuffle. That's why he's a genius in bad rap. Just amazing concepts all around. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Round for Round. Diz versus Shuffle T. Go to patreon.com forward slash day now to cast your vote for who you thought won all of those rounds. Also, go to gofundme.com forward slash round for round to donate towards the winner. We have raised $1,400 towards whoever is going to win this. And I can't thank you guys enough. Rich nigga or a big spender, I'm a ditch digger. Leave your body floating in the piss river. Get this bigger, the lick hitter, sick trigger. Sicking out the whip look like an antenna. Keep it a G, uh, I got to keep it a street. They already knew, I thought I was being discreet. Here's a beat.